right, welcome everybody to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I'm Know It All DM, and today I'm showcasing one of my latest creations, the IX01 Pioneer. The IX-01 Pioneer is a capital vessel that is based on a small vessel which was created originally by Mr. Icecat, known as the Pilgrim. That's this little thing over here. Now, the Pilgrim is a small vessel that is extremely versatile and can do a whole lot of things, which, you know, it's awesome for a small vessel, but there's only so much you can do in the game right now with a small vessel. Now, this is also known as small vessel or SV prefab tier four right here. And uh, that's just what I spawned in right here and plop, put it there. Now the pioneer over here, which I built block by block and well, of course built block by block. I mean, I, I built it myself, but I built it to uh, resemble and in uh, in honor of the pilgrim over there, but I've made a few modifications. First of all, of course, it's a capital vessel, um, and the design is slightly different because of this. Now, as you notice, the outer door will go open and close along with the inner door here, so you don't have to manually open it or anything, it just automatically opens. And I've got these levers here to pull up and put down the, uh, the ramps out there. So, you know, it's ease of access. Now, back here, we have the engineering section, which includes the ventilator, the only ventilator on the ship. Um, also, each of the rooms, as you'll notice as I go through them, has a uh, motion sensor that cuts the light on as you enter and off as you exit. Um, but back here in the, uh, engineering room, you've got the constructor, which is a large constructor. Um, I made this so that you can spawn it in at level 10 and it's, it's very upgradable. You can upgrade a lot of things, uh, add a lot of extra things into it. And we'll get into more of that later. But right now we've got, uh, the engineering room where you can add fuel to the warp drive, oxygen, or fuel tanks. Um... Or you could also blow up the core if you want. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so that's basically all this room is good for. You know, just adding those things and the constructor. Um, back behind this wall here is a large variety of devices. The warp drive, the generators, all that sort of stuff. I throw them in the back so that they're, you know, well, out of the way. Um, so if we come on past the entry hall here, we have... The habitation room. Now, the habitation room is, uh, like, it's, well, you can live here. Well, I mean, this is a capital vessel. But this capital vessel is meant for only one to two people, maybe three. So, you know, it's, it's, it's small enough, but it has everything you need on it. It's got a grab generator. It's got, it's even got offline protection back there, back behind here. So if you're on a, uh, on a public server or a server where people, you know, are messing with you guys, you don't have to worry about it. So anyway, back here in the habitation area, you've got everything you need to live in relative comfort, not, not luxury, but comfort. You know, you've got a bathroom with a shower and a toilet. You've got, you know, a bunk bed, closet, kitchen counter. You've got the, uh, food processor and fridge here. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I had to put this here. Otherwise, it would block off the air from getting into here. Uh, but, you know, it's a small price to pay. That's a lot cheaper than throwing another ventilator in here somewhere. So, anyway. Um, you've got, you know, your medic station, oxygen station, repair station, extra cargo. Now, this is actually a uh, exploration vessel, a scout ship or... Uh, something of the like, which uh, is supposed to uh, go out, explore the galaxy, find things. It's not supposed to be able to carry a whole lot of cargo, but it does have a uh, larger cargo here, plus that smaller one in the back, just to carry what you need. So, now, you'll see the very big similarities between the two ships here. You've got the 
Pilgrim, the smaller Pilgrim, and then the larger uh, Pioneer in the background. Um, there aren't any weapons equipped to the Pioneer just yet because it's, uh, as, as I said, I wanted to do it at level 10. And putting mounted weapons on there would be like level 20 and 25. So I really didn't want to do that. But I uh, also, if you want, you can replace like the uh, radar dishes in the back. You can replace those with uh, turrets. And if you want to add more thrust to it, uh, the uh, areas between these thrusters back here are just empty. So you could throw extra large thrusters in there. Um, but anyway, let's head on into space and I'll show you how this thing maneuvers in the, uh, in space outside of the atmosphere. Now in the atmosphere, it maneuvers pretty much like any other capital vessel going really slow, but, uh, it's got two tier two RCSs, which allows it to maneuver quite well, both in and out of the atmosphere. So... Anyway, we're going to head up into space, and we're going to see how this thing works. All right, so as we're approaching the asteroid field, I'm going to give you a, an opportunity to take a look at how well this maneuvers in the field. Um, as a scout vessel, as I said, it's not, it's not armed, but you could, you could add, you know, weaponry to the bottom, uh, where I showed you earlier, or you could replace some of the, uh, the two... Uh, uh, radar dishes on the top, you could replace those with turrets if you wanted. But uh, I'm just leaving it as it is because it's a scout vessel, not a combat vessel. But it can maneuver rather well throughout this asteroid field. And it's extremely maneuverable, as you can see. At least with an experienced pilot such as myself, it is. <laughs> but uh, in any case, I hope you guys enjoy this design. If you do, check out the uh, the Pilgrim by Mr. Ice Cat and uh, subscribe to it. If you want to see more of the Pioneer and its variants, go ahead and subscribe. And of course, as always, if you like it, like the video. As always, I'm Know It All DM, and y'all have a good day now.